Suspect is heading down the back alley. Move to intercept. <laughs> for the murder of Ed Perez. You got the wrong guy. Shut up, Tom. You have the right to remain silent. I was just protecting my girlfriend. Don't act like a judge. Anything you say or do may be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You cannot afford an attorney. We've apprehended suspect. We're taking him in. Copy that. Who's that? No one. Hmm. Didn't look like no one. So, um, I was talking to Kimmy, and she thinks that we should get a horse for the new stable. Really? Is Kimmy gonna pay for it? No. Mm. No, I know I can't get you to sit, but you can eat. Thank you. And you are not wearing that to school. Why not? Because you look like you charge by the hour. All right, Mom, that's gross. Exactly my point. Now, please go change. Hey, are you missing anything? I don't think so. Ten minutes, we gotta go. Hi, Daddy. Good morning. Uh, she's not going to school dressed like that, is she? Oh, my goodness, no. I just sent her up to change. I've got the craziest day. I've gotta get this plea bargain worked out. Am I? Don't do that. And my old boss, the DA, trying to back me into a corner. Well, you're going to be here this afternoon, though, right? We, we have the meetings with the contractors to get some quotes. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, don't worry about it. I'll do it this weekend. Honey, you work all the time. It's not happening. Look, I know you wanted to do this yourself, but we really have to hire someone. We have a deadline. All right, fine. We will. But we might need to hire someone for you, too. You can spend some time with Mackenzie. You can get some of your work done at the hospital. It'll be great for you. Uh, I can't. You know, I can't even think about that right now. I just want to stay focused. And oh, Good hi. Good morning. We need to finish the remodel. The event is in two weeks. This is a mess. Please be here to meet with me. This Fine. 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 Go. <laughs> See you. Mackenzie. We gotta go! Did not put that lace mini dress on, did you? by a keynote address from our chief of pediatric medicine. You see, by focusing our attention on outreach 
as much as fundraising, then we'll be able to tell the people of our community what Hope West Children's Hospital really stands for. And I just want to add, thanks to Liz, not only do we have a new venue for this year's event, but we are on track for our biggest fundraiser year. So that's it. Thank you so much for coming, and please don't forget to take your packet on your way out. Thank you. Whew. Hey, the new house is looking incredible. Is there really an indoor pool? Yes, but let me tell you, we got a great deal on it because it was a short sale, but there is still so much work to be done. I thought Paul was doing it. Ugh, he was, but I think he's finally realized he's bit off a little more than he can shoot. I don't remember the last time he was home for dinner or, or a weekend he didn't have to work through. Well, I can't imagine it's easy starting a new firm. But hey, at least he's not on city payroll, right? That's got to be an improvement. Ooh, speaking of payroll, I talked to Halligan. Ed Halligan? Apparently he's looking for the right charity to sink a few mil into. You're kidding. I, I told him about the fundraiser, and he said he'll be there. Seriously, if you don't slow down, they're going to end up naming a wing after you. And I don't care about my name on the side of a building. I just want to make this happen. And now all you have to do is finish the house. There's that. <laughs> Listen, I gotta go, okay? Okay, thank you for everything. You're welcome. Hi, you've reached Paul Chase. Please leave a message. Thank you. Hey, honey, it's me. I'm heading back to the house to meet with a contractor. Remember Elliot? He did uh, Marilyn's Kitchen? Yeah, I would really love it if you could be there, okay? You know, this place has got a lot of potential. All you need is a few choice upgrades. For instance, this island right here. A little TLC. This could become a real focal point for the kitchen, like I did for your friends. Mm. You know, my husband's been trying to do this on his own, but with his job, there's just no way he has enough time to finish it, and we have to get this done. No, I understand, I understand. Listen, I was wondering, have you thought about adding a wall there, create two separate living room spaces? No, no, I hadn't, but that's actually a great idea. See, what you need to focus on is energy efficiency. Those are the improvements that'll pay for themselves in the long run, and they're great for resale. I'm thinking tankless water heater, all new energy efficient windows, new HVAC system. Have you ever thought about solar? I have thought about solar. Kitchens and bathrooms, that's where you need to spend your money. We can manufacture granite, replace the existing kitchen countertops. How do you feel about heated tile floors in the bathrooms? I honestly don't know how I feel about heated tile in the bathroom. Heated floors. I don't know. 90,000. Yeah. 100,000. Mm. Uh, HVA, what is, what is this? Uh, uh, 120,000. Okay, now you can see why I wanted to do this by myself. I know, I know. But that being said, you know, Elliot did do a really nice job on Marilyn's kitchen. Yeah, and she paid for it. Maybe this is all too much. Maybe I just change the venue, I rethink the whole fundraiser, we can oh, do it no, somewhere. no, 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 we're doing it here. You want it here, it's in the story. We've already spent so much on the house already. All right, well, maybe we don't need to reinvent the wheel. Let's just have everything that has been started finished. Yeah. I'll ask around. Hold on. Ah, uh, it's Parker. I gotta take this. Okay. Hey, what they say? All right, all right, all right. Let me just go to my office. Yeah, 
trust me, I know all the tricks I worked out at that office. Hey, uh, can you help me out? I'm looking for a contractor. I need to have some work done over at the house. You know of anybody? I thought you were taking care of it. Yeah. I was going to try to, but Liz has this big event coming up in a couple of weeks, and she wants to get everything done. She's had a couple of quotes it's done. 90000 I was hoping to get it done for more like forty. Expensive, isn't it? We're putting ours off until business picks up. Uh, well, thought it was worth a try. Hey, you're going to call me after you talk to the DA, right? You got it. All right, sounds good. Yeah, I'm still here. Um, yeah, you know what? I think 50000 is a little bit much. Um, I'm not really looking for anything better homes and gardens, but... Uh, These figures are very competitive. Oh, I know. I know. It's just... I uh, was not looking to spend that much. Well, if you change your mind, All right. let me know. Yeah, thanks. Desert Sun Contracting. Oh, hi. Uh, my name is Paul Chase. I was looking to get some remodeling work done, and a friend of mine just sent me the link to your to your website. It really looks uh, great. You're doing great work. Thank you. The site was my wife's idea. She's always telling me uh, I got to market myself better. How can I help you, Mr. Chase? Well, my wife and I just bought a house, and um, there was some work that needed to be done, and I was trying to do it, but... Uh, yeah, you need someone to finish it. I know. It happens all the time. Exactly. And nothing too complicated. We're just looking for some countertops, a little tile work. Uh, there is one catch, though. My wife's got a big event coming up in a couple of weeks. Well, actually, I'm starting a new job up in Valencia on the 22nd. So, uh, that'd be perfect. Oh, fantastic. When can you come by and look at the house? You know, pretty much any time you'd like. Hello? Mackenzie? Hello? Hello? Who are you? Hey, babe. This is Javier. He's a contractor. Oh, hi. Sorry. Would have been good if you told me that, because you just scared the hell out of me. I'm so sorry. You've been so busy, I just figured that you didn't want to know. <laughs> I'm sorry. My husband didn't tell me you were coming. No worries. You must be Mrs. Chase. I am. I'm here to get your water? Yeah. Good? You? No, I'm good. Thanks. Yeah. Lovely house you have here. Beautiful piece of property. Thanks. About three acres? Oh, uh, five, actually. Hmm. Like I was telling your husband, generally the house is in good shape. Just need to concentrate on the little things, finish the island, Put in a backsplash and lighting and electrical. Right, that, I mean, that's exactly what I was thinking. Should be about 40,000. How's that sound? That sounds great. Fantastic. Honey? We'll talk. Yes. We'll talk about it. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. My license. Right, oh, excellent. Thank you very much. Very good. Thank you, sir. Does he look familiar to you, or...? No. I think he just looks like someone. Hmm. So what do you think? Uh, it's fine, I guess. 40000 that's half of what Marilyn spent on her kitchen. Yeah, I know. It's like half of what everyone else quoted. I don't know how he does that. Well, it comes highly recommended by Parker. Well, Parker liked him, and he's fine by me. Excellent. <laughs> I'll call him in the morning. Great. Good night, sweetie. Good night, hon. You too. Sleep well. Thanks for finding him. You're welcome.
I know it's her birthday, but I think it's a bad idea. You let me go to camp every summer. It's not even remotely the same thing. San Diego's too far. And the 20th is my benefit, and I really want you there. I think I'll call it a night, Mrs. Chase. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Javier. Good night. Remember what I taught you? Buenas noches. <laughs> You're gonna get an A on that test. Mark my words. Oh, here. I found this in the other room. Thanks. Gracias. <laughs> Good night. Night. I'm gonna tie that thing around your neck. Okay, Javier. Oh, it's working late. Mm. Hello. Someone else is too. Oh. Really? Sorry. There's um, there's leftovers, but I think it's mostly cold by now. Oh, okay. Hey, where are you going, sweetie? Uh, to finish my homework. All right, well, then you're gonna miss out on something that you may want to hear. We're moving back to Sherman Oaks. Ah, very funny. Uh, if we did, we would not be able to keep him. Him? A horse? <laughs> Paul, we talked about this. It's Charlie. He's a Belgian quarter horse, six years old. He's apparently amazing, very sweet, wonderful with first-time riders. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome, sweetie. I love you. Mm. All your friends. Hey, give me. Guess what? A horse. It's Charlie. Honey, horses are really expensive to maintain. No, no. This is a rescue. And we're just gonna house them. We'll get some used tack, and it'll be all good. And plus, it'll teach you some responsibility. Oh, why don't we just feed it the leftovers? I think so. Yeah, very good with chow mein. <laughs> Look, babe, just please know that yes. we don't need horses and housekeepers. What? Just need what? more of you here what? eating what? mediocre what? Chinese what? food. What? Stop. Come here, Charlie. Come here. Mm. Charlie. Charlie. Oh. Charlie. Oh shoot. Come on. No, I know, I know, I know. I just, I'm expecting a call, and this guy's been so expecting. sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take this in the office. Yeah. How was your day? Oh, it was swell. I got so much done for the benefit. You didn't even have time to cook. Hey, Parker, before I forget, let me uh, thank you for that recommendation. That was awesome. What recommendation? For the contractor, the guy who sent me the email with the link. I didn't send you anything. What are you talking about? I got it right here. It's in my email. I thought it was here. Hold on. Don't worry about it. I get so busy, I don't even remember what day of the week it is. Yeah, right. Huh. Uh, hey, man, let me, uh... I'm coming back tomorrow.
Pope West had over 70,000 children come through last year seeking treatment. And not only do we provide top patient care and medical training in the pediatric field, we spent over $40 million in research alone last year. Yes, and we're doing some really cutting edge therapies. Now our oncology division is developing personalized therapies to fight malignant tumors at a molecular level. We're also performing a revolutionary new surgery to repair heart defects in the womb. Mm -hmm. Yes, all of this is made possible through the generosity of our donors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, of course. You would? Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. I will send the forms over right away. Right. Yes, of course, and two tickets for our fall benefit. Great. Thank you. Ten. Girl, you are living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, this whole thing. Oh, no, I love it. It's so peaceful and quiet. Uh, well, almost. <laughs> and am I crazy, or was that a riding arena I saw on the way in here? Oh, yeah, yeah, and uh, stables in the back. Has Mackenzie asked for a horse yet? No, sister, please. And Paul caved. Seriously? Yep. Charlie arrives this afternoon. You see? This move was good for the whole family. You haven't seen the kitchen yet. I know. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, so just, you know, a wow. few, few things. Just a couple. Yeah, should be done by dinner. Hi, Javier. Hey. This is my friend Kate. Hi. That's him? Oh, that's him. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Nice fridge. But um, no countertops, <laughs> no backsplash. That's okay. Just a few things. <laughs> Stove is awesome, though. I can't wait to uh, get cooking on that. It's blue. I know. It's just so pretty. I have to trim those back, turn over all this earth, and get some color in here. You know, it's just so drab back here. Yeah, it'll look beautiful. Um, so Paul really leaves you alone in the house with that guy? Yeah. Seems harmless enough. Right. Delicate little butterfly. Be nice. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, did you get the email this morning with the new numbers? Uh, ticket sales are 105% to goal. Yes, I did. I know, and that's not even with Halligan. It's amazing. Mm hmm Well, I may have maybe forced Paul to have everyone in his law firm buy tickets, but... <laughs> He's such a suck-up. Yeah, he should be sucking up. He's been working every night for months. Well, he could be like my husband, who just plops on the couch and plays his fantasy football all night long. Uh, yeah, you have a handsome, good-looking husband and... Is everything okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Do you want to see the stables? Yeah, love to. Walk this way. Hi, I'm hoping you can help me out. Uh, I'm the office manager for Chase Law Firm, and for some reason we didn't receive our billing statements for the last two cycles. Is there any way you could reprint them and email them to me? Great. Okay, my email is liz.chase at gobble.net. Thank you. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.
What are you doing in there? A trip to circuit. I was looking for the breaker box. Breaker box isn't in there. It's in the garage. Thank you, Mr. Chase. not right. I, I was up by the pool the other day and I could swear he was watching me and then I caught him eavesdropping on Kate and I and uh, last night I heard a noise outside the bathroom window and when I went to look someone had knocked a pot over and then to top it off I caught him coming out of your office today. Something's not right. I know he was the most affordable and, and maybe he does good work but when you're at work and Mackenzie's at school, I'm the one who's home alone with him. No, I know. I know. I just, I'd feel better if we could hire someone else to finish the work. Okay. Really? Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Just, uh, call Maryland's contractor and get that set up. I'll take care of Javier. All right. Let's go. All right. So, Casey, can you cancel all my appointments this afternoon? Uh, I've got to deal with something at home. Okay. Thanks. Javier! Hey, you're home early. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Sorry? Your work is done here, you gotta go. How do I understand? In fact, I think you understand it perfectly. You understand that what you've been doing in this house is totally inappropriate. You know, I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. My wife said she saw you in my office. Yeah, I was looking for the breaker panel. In my home office? Really? What about last night? What were you doing outside the house? Look, I'll write you a check for everything that you've done, but you gotta go. Threatening me? I know a thing or two about loss. And a man like yourself better think twice about making rash decisions. Do I need to call the police? I'm not going to repeat myself.
Thank you. We'll see him again. I promise. Thanks. And we'll be good. All right, thanks. Wow, you look like an expert out there already. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, um, have you had a chance to think about that party at all? Party? Yeah, uh, Kimmy's birthday is the 20th, so she's getting a beach cabana down in San Diego that Saturday. Yeah, and I told her that I didn't think it was a very good idea. But I told her that I'd bring an extra inhaler. Well, you have to stop losing the one that you have. Is your mom gonna be down there? Yeah, of course. And it's just one night. And you guys are just gonna hang out in the cabana? Yeah, that's what I told mom. So, what do you think? It's fine by me, huh? You? <sighs> All right. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What are you doing? I already told her no. I don't know. Just with everything that's going on, maybe she's better off just hanging out with her friends for a night. Hmm. Yeah, you might have a point. Yeah, you know, and the benefit's probably going to be boring for her. A bunch of old folks like us. Benefit. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how many times I've heard the same old story. Contractor just gets up and bails before he even finishes his job. Yeah, I've figured that one out the hard way. <laughs> well, you definitely get what you pay for, right? Yeah, don't rub it in, Elliot. <sighs> well, listen, don't worry about it. I think we're going to get everything done in time. That would be great. Yeah. Okay, guys. Elliot, thank you for saving us. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Everything okay? Yeah, I think we're good here, right? Yeah, under control. All right. All right. Let me have my dinner. You might want to consider reporting this guy to the license board. It's a good idea. I'm not gonna admit to something I didn't do. Okay, you didn't do it? They get your prints all over the weapon. The guy identifies you in a lineup. They look like a lot of people. You're lucky they're even offering you this deal. I don't think you understand the difficult situation that you're in right now. And considering the fact that you pay me a ton of money for my advice, I'd suggest you listen to me. Gage, you do not want this to go to trial. Why does nobody listen? It's their loss. Where's everybody? They left. Oh my gosh, is that time already? 
I need you to sign these. What do you got? Lamont. Mm. You're so tense. You need to relax some more. Dad? Can you grab the glasses off the table? Yeah, sure. You missed dinner again? Uh, yeah, can you, uh, can you pick me up? What happened? All my tires are flat. Call the auto club. Something wrong? No, no. All right, I'm just going to get a toad over to Tony's. Can you pick me up there in a half hour? Yeah, sure. I'll leave now. I got to go pick up your father. We'll be back in a bit. OK. Any idea how much those tires cost? Nope. And they're probably three or four hundred miles on each of them now. I have to replace every one of them. Maybe you should be more careful where you drive. I want to drive from home to work, work to home, that's it. Is Shea Louis on the way to work? Shea Louis Beverly Hills? No. Uh-huh. Uh, what? the receipt. The receipt for what? Champagne? Really? Fondue for two? This isn't mine. But you're, you're I've actually... never even been to this restaurant. You're seriously going to deny it? This is not deny what? This isn't mine. Was so someone else's receipt just made its way into your pocket? I don't know. And what about the phone calls? Are you serious? You know, late at night, unlisted numbers. Liz, you know, I sit in my office till 1, 2 o'clock in the morning sometimes calling clients who have unlisted numbers for very obvious reasons. 
You think I'm sleeping with someone else? I don't know. Are you? I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. What? Come here. What? There's someone over there. Liz, there's no one there. I think it was him. Who? Javier. Javier's gone. I'm going inside. Okay, so I've connected all your doors and windows to the system. You've got four zones, the front, the rear, and the two sides. If anyone opens anything, you've got 15 seconds to enter the code or our call center will notify the authorities. Okay. Here, it comes with a special app, so you can track it from anywhere. Oh, wow, that's great. Contractor seat license board. Hi, uh, I'd like to file a complaint against the contractor. How do I go about doing that? First, can I have your name, please? Yes, it's Elizabeth Chase. Thank you, Mrs. Chase. And your address? It's 85 Deerfield Road in Malibu. Okay. And the name of the contractor you'd like to file a complaint on? Javier Reyes, R-E-Y-E-S. Mm, one second. I'm sorry, there's no one in the system with that name. What do you mean? I've got his license uh, right in front of me. I'll read you the number. It's 01545. Uh, one more moment. I'm sorry, that license number is invalid. That doesn't make sense. I'm looking right at it. Would you like to file a complaint for unlicensed activity? <sighs> no, never mind. Thank you. What the? Thanks for bringing the car over. Yeah, no worries, man. Did you ever figure out what the problem was? Nails. Nails? Yeah, nails. Now, I can understand one or two, but Paul, I counted 15. What, have you been driving through a construction site or something? Uh, not that I remember. Javier. Excuse me? This contractor's been doing some work over at the house. We had a bit of a falling out. Paul, we're talking over a grand with a rubber here. That's a hell of a falling out. Son of a bitch. Look, if that's the case, just be careful where you park her, huh? You're lucky it's just the tires. Thank you, sir. Of course. Anytime. You know that. Come on, answer. We're sorry. The number you have reached is not in service. Let's do it. Perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's what we're here for. And listen, don't stress out about the kitchen. I'll get that done really soon, okay? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it.
So what was it? Was it a clog or something? Well, uh, if I didn't know better myself, I'd say somebody tampered with your lines. You mean tampered? Well, somebody who knew what they were doing really messed up your drainage system. Right. Of course, it was someone who knew what they were doing. What, you think you know who did this? Yeah, I have a pretty good idea. I don't know if we're going to find anything. I mean, it's probably not even his real name. Don't worry about that. I told you you can find almost anything on the internet. All right, I'll tell you what. Why don't you put in his description as best you can mm -hmm. and see what comes up, okay? I'm, I'm just going to go get some more coffee. Do you want anything? No, I'm good, thank you. All right. Yeah, bye. All right. Ethnicity. Age range, 48, 58, height, 5, 7, 5, 11, hair brown, eyes brown, name or known aliases, well, might as well, Javier Reyes, 28 pages. I'm going cross-eyed. I, I can't look at any more of these. I'm never going to find them. Just one more page, OK? Just one more. All right. Look at this guy. Oh, yeah, that's him. Jorge Reyes. Arrested for contempt of court. Is there anything else? Well, at least we have a name. <laughs> well, now what? You know what, let me see something for a second, okay? Let's see. <clears throat> what is this database? Something my hubby uses at the office. And he lets you log into it? Steven uses the same password for everything. Okay. Let's see, Jorge Reyes. All right, look, there's something. Is that a news article? Yeah. Arrested two years earlier for the murder of a gang member, 27-year-old Omar Reyes was killed in a gang fight in a California state prison in Lancaster. His father, Jorge Reyes, 50 years old from Pacoima, expressed his anger at the news. His son was innocent, and the system took his life. You know, this article is from two months ago. But how do we know that this is the same guy? All right. Here's another one. After a six-hour deliberation, Omar Reyes was found guilty of first-degree murder. Applauding the juror's decision, prosecutor Paul Chase said this was a major victory in the city's fight against gang violence. Oh, that's why he's doing this. Paul was the prosecutor that sent his son to prison, where he was killed. Oh my gosh. We should call Paul. Not yet. I need to find out more. I mean, do you think she still works there? Excuse me? We're closed. Come back at five. Maria Para? Do I know you? No. My name's Elizabeth Chase, and I was hoping I could talk to you about Omar. Get out. We just need a few. You two got a hearing problem? My husband, Paul Chase, he was the prosecutor on Omar's case. Just five minutes, please. What? Well, the night Omar was arrested, you were with him, weren't you? I already told the police everything. We're not the police. We just want to know what happened.
We were just walking, minding our own business. And all of a sudden, these guys came up. I'd seen them around the bar sometimes, Latin princes. One of them comes up to me, tries to put the moves on me, starts touching me, groping me. He pulled out a knife. Next thing I know, Mars on top of him. It all just happened so fast. I looked up and the other guy was on the ground and Omar was covered in blood. The cops caught up to him down the block. Didn't even give him a chance to surrender. They just started beating him. Well, and what you told them that he was just trying to protect you. It doesn't matter. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Your husband should have known. If only he actually cared about something more than getting a quick conviction. Are you still in contact with Omar's father, Jorge? We'd get together once in a while. He didn't really have anyone. His wife died of cancer when Omar was six. But when Omar died two months ago, he was so angry. He became a different person. After he lost his job at the phone company, he just became scary. Kept talking about revenge. What did he do for the phone company? Installation, high-end systems. He's a really smart guy, but he's got a bad temper sometimes. Doing out here in the cold? Jorge Reyes, that's his name. His real name. Sound familiar? No. Huh. Should it? Oh, yeah. No, he said gang kid. I killed her, remember this. Is Javier's is Jorge's son, and he was killed in prison two months ago. Apparently, there was a fight in the yard. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Wow. I spoke to Omar's girlfriend today. What? understand what's going on here. You know, I thought maybe if I knew more about Omar or more about the case. I... Omar killed a rival gang member. She said it was self-defense. And you believe her? It's possible, isn't it? Omar's girlfriend says that it was self-defense. The DA's office says that it was murder. But it's a system decides ultimately there were 12 jurors that convicted him not me i did my job you gotta believe me i don't think it matters what i believe jorge believes that his son was innocent and that's why he's here it was jorge that faked the recommendation for the contractor for parker Here. He's blaming you for the death of his son. Right, he's going to try and destroy this family. We, we, we have to call the police. I'll take care of it.
Gage, it's Paul Chase. You have some friends in some pretty low places, don't you? Yeah. I need to ask you a favor. says hi. there so people can get through. You got All right, it. thanks. Let's go on in the backyard behind the pool. Okay. Hey, y'all set already? Yep. You take that. Thank you. I'll grab that. And... Oh, did you pack sunscreen? Yes. And you've got your inhaler, right? Yes. And the backup? Yes, Mom. <laughs> Can't help it. Uh, oh, I need you to text me when you arrive and then, you know, check in every couple hours or so. Okay, Mom, it's one night. I promise everything's gonna be okay and I'll be back before you know it. All right. Okay, have fun. Thank you. Good luck. Don't worry about Jorge Reyes. Took care of it. What do you mean you took care of it? Took care of it. I think that about does it. We got everything done. It, it, everything looks amazing. Thank you, Elliot. Is this for you? No, I appreciate it. You have a good time at your party, all right? Thanks. Let's get out of here. Thank you again. You're welcome. Bye. Hey, Liz. Snap out of it. Your guests are going to be arriving soon. Right. Yes, thank you. Um, the veggie platter has to go out, and so does this. I'm going to check the heaters on the chafing dishes. I'll be right back. Okay.
That's wonderful, thank you. What's wrong? Nothing, they're just jitters, I guess. Okay, so I better do this. Good afternoon, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? I would like to welcome you to the fifth annual Fall Into Caring charity cocktail party to benefit the Hope West Children's Hospital. When our daughter, Mackenzie, first suffered an attack of acute asthma, we were, we were terrified. We went to a number of doctors, some we had known for years, but no one could help. And that's when I found Hope West, excuse me, that's when I discovered Hope West Children's Hospital. And thanks to specialists like Dr. Harding, and Dr. Daly, and the Asthma Action Team, Mackenzie is now leading the life of a normal teenager. She's running track at school, she's riding her new horse, Charlie, and uh, against my better judgment, she is at a party on the beach in San Diego with her best friend. <laughs> so I would, so appreciate it if you would give a warm welcome to the Chief of Pediatric Medicine, Dr. Arthur Wright. How about that, Elizabeth Chase, everyone? Wow. What an amazing woman. Elizabeth Chase, ladies What's going on? And gentlemen. I like your wife's speech. Excuse me? How, how, how am I how? still alive? Because you're still cutting corners, hiring the wrong people. Did you know Omar had gotten into college? He was going to study computers. He was the next generation. And you saw him as a common criminal. He was my son. But coming after me and my family isn't going to get your son back. Do you know what it's like to lose a child? Your own flesh and blood? Of course you don't. You don't know what it feels like to lose. Well, let me tell you, you feel helpless, powerless, like there's nothing in the world you can do. Well, there's something I can do now. All right, what do you want? 10,000? 15,000? What will it take for you to leave me and my family alone? Just tell me. Whatever you need, I'll give it to you. I want you to feel what it's like to be helpless, Paul. I'm going to make you understand what it feels like to lose. Thank you very much, and thank you for coming. I hope you're having a wonderful time. I had to walk all the way from Kimmy's house. Do your folks really think you're staying the night in San Diego with her? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just die here. So pretty. I know. It's so quiet out. You lied to me. You lied to my face. And then you bring her here? You bring her here on this day into our home? Liz, yes, Casey came on to me, but I said no. How stupid do I look? look you know, Clearly, I'm, does it look like you're protesting? Liz, don't you think if there was something worse that they would have sent you a photograph of that? Maybe you took it somewhere more private. Maybe that's where you've been every night of the week. Nothing happened! She rubbed my neck, but that was it. This, don't you see this guy is trying to drive our family apart? He's trying to push don't us apart. Don't put this on him! Because you know me. 
No, I don't. Not lately. Not the way you've been acting. You're gone all the time. You're sneaking off into your office all the time. How am I supposed to believe you? It's not like this is the first time. You can't keep holding that over my head. It was 17 years ago. Before we were married. You know, maybe this out here, guys, not so crazy after all, because I don't know who you are anymore, because the man I married would not, would not do something like that. What do you want? What do you want me to do? Just tell me and I'll do it. What I need is for you to just leave me alone. Just go. I can't leave you here, Liz. Not with them out there. It's not safe. You've done enough for one day. Please just get out. Do you... You respect me so little, you can't even tell me the truth. Just go. Please just go. You're making a really big mistake right now. But you would know, wouldn't you? Get out! Whoa, Chris, slow down. What? <laughs> oh, come on. What's your problem? I just, I don't, I don't want to. But you snuck out of your house to spend the night with me. And, and you don't want to? Wait, <laughs> is this what you thought this was gonna be? Yeah. Yeah, I, I did. I'm sorry, I just... I don't think I'm ready. You don't think you're ready? Look, why don't you just take me home? I don't want to. Why don't I not? Chris, come on! Stupid tease! Chris! Chris! Hi, Judy. It's Elizabeth, Mackenzie's mom. I just want to check in and see how the party was going. San Diego is beautiful and the girls are having such a great time. 
How's Mackenzie feeling? Sorry, what do you mean? Well, we're sorry she couldn't make it, but the girls and I hope she's feeling better. What, you mean she's not there with you? Wait, wait, wait. Well, we're sorry she couldn't make it, but the girls and I hope she's feeling better. What, you mean she's not there with you? Wait, 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 wait. Kimmy said she was sick and had to cancel. <sighs> okay, I need you to ask Kimmy where she is. Kimmy! Mrs. Chase is on the phone. Why does she think Mackenzie's here with us? Answer me. She wanted to see Chris, so I told her I'd cover for her. All right, tell Kimmy that if Mackenzie calls her, she needs to call me as soon as she can, all right? Thank you. Hi, you've reached Paul Chase. Please leave a message. Thank you. <sighs> For you. I know you're inside. Oh no. Come on out. Have your please. Ten. Please no. Nine. No, Mom, don't do it! Shut up! Eight. Oh. Okay. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Stop, I'm here! Please don't hurt her. Jorge, please. She's fine. Look, I know about Omar. Don't mention my son's name. He's a good kid. So is Mackenzie. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Please. It's too late for apologies. Let me have your phone. life ahead of him. What is this about? Revenge? This is about what's right and what's wrong. No! <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, girls. Come on now, you can run, but you can't hide. Now, come on. Mackenzie, I've got another Spanish lesson for you. Time for games. Are you three all packed? Oh, yes, as much as I can tell. Yeah, I can't believe you're giving up this house. I totally understand why. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a little too big for us anyway. Yeah, we're gonna have a fresh start, you know, clean slate in a number of ways. Yeah, I'm actually uh, bringing in an associate, cutting my hours way down, spending a little more time with the family. Mm -hmm. We found this great house. It's got a great school right nearby, and there's an equestrian center, so Mackenzie can keep Charlie. How's the kitchen? Completely renovated. So you don't need a contractor or anything? You good? One? No, uh, no. So maybe you'll have time to attend this. What is this? <gasps> Whoa. Yep. The board of directors met, and it was unanimous. I mean, I know it's not exactly a wing. Oh, for sure. I'll take it. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I can count on you to be there then? Uh, with bells on. And you are coming to this one. Okay. <laughs> 
well, kids. I'm gonna take off, beat the traffic. Y'all take care. Alrighty. See you later. Right to see you. you behave yourself. Bye. Bye. Oh. Thanks. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Drive safe. Wow. Wow, Mom. Congrats. I'm proud of you. Thanks. You're still grounded. Can I drive? No. Hmm. Can't carry a box, though.